Whew. What's up, guys? Just leaving Jackson's bait shop. So, Tuesday video, I was supposed to go do a bluegill, but it rained. So, I had to improvise. We got a lot of bait. Today, we're gonna do a little catch clean and cook action on some bluegills. I got a good recipe I wanna show y'all. Um, which I think is probably the, which is probably the best fried fish recipe I came across. At least for real fish. You know, as my old chef used to call them, creek fish, swamp fish. Hey, uh, you get some strange looks holding the camera talking to yourself. <laughs> Especially because that's not common where I'm from. But, do I have a pole in here? I do have a pole in here. I do have a stringer. But I, I do have hooks. I might not have to go to the house. See you guys when we get to the water. What's up guys? All right, so now we have made it to the house. I mean, uh, we made it to the lake. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera. Some big bluegills, they out there busting on some gnats. So on some gnats, I'm feeling good. Um, solo mission today. Uh, hopefully we can get Dalton come down here. Maybe, maybe he can come hold the camera for us so we can get a little bit, we can get a cameraman going. But um, I'm gonna get rigged up and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. So let me sit you down. I guess we could, I go give you a quick rundown of what we got going on. Oh, the sun's just gonna mess it all up. Let's just get, let's just get rigged up. Let's just stop all that. Guys, yeah, so. What I like to do for these bigger bluegill, I like to use a 132nd ounce little, little tiny jig, little jig head. I don't know what size hook this is, so I had to get a little bit bigger hook. X. We got our red worms from Jackson's Bait Shop. Shout out Jackson's Bait Shop. Some people they use half a red worm, but since the bluegills are not on bed and I'm not going to be dragging this, I'm going to be using this with a cork. I'm gonna use the whole worm, but I'm gonna thread them on now. Oh, now when Dalton's go hit, get here, I'll go more in detail how I thread them. The sun and this light, the sun wants to come out, then it wants to go away. There it is. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Taking this little small hook, got a little piece of worm that was left over. Show you guys from a clean hook perspective. Let's feed the little babies. All right, so I like to do, I like to find the fat part of the head. That's usually, well, my dad told me that's the, the worm's head, the fat part. If you grab that, the worm start to like gets more active when you grab the top of that part. So what I like to do, start in the middle, right? And I thread him to his head. And I leave him wiggling like that. Now, if I got into some big ones, I'll leave it with them like that. They swallow the whole, but I haven't found those yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this end piece, and I'm going to thread that on there as well. Still giving him a little room just to, to move around just a little bit, because we don't want to get clean. But usually when I find the big ones, I don't, I don't put that extra thread on there. So let's sit that down here. Oh, that was automatic. There's, that's a, oh, he got off. That was a big one. That was an absolute big one. He didn't even have it. Oh, that was a big one. Dang. Let's miss one that quick. Let's see if there's more there. Hope he wasn't just the only one. 
Because sometimes what I notice, guys, these big crappies, I mean, no, nah, not crappies, these big bluegills, sometimes, like the real big, big ones of the pond, they will kind of like, it'll be like two or three of them. They don't, they won't be in like a big school in ponds. I'm speaking in ponds. I'm not talking about um, lakes and rivers and stuff like that, because that's a totally different thing. But ponds that's not been... The fish are not getting stocked, they're not being fed, they're living off one another. That's what I usually notice about the bluegills. That was crazy. Got bit up. There he is. There he is. Got him. Oh, he got me on that stick. So what guys, what you can do, you can just I seen him too. I hope he's still on there. Let some line out, and then if he's still on there. He'll, he'll set himself free. He'll get up out of that stick some. So, dang. I'm going to let that sit there for a couple of seconds. Hopefully, hopefully he, he didn't get off. But that was a good bluegill. I saw him. That was a real good bluegill. Oh, man. Ran me right into that tree, too. That dang sucker. All right. So, doesn't look like he's going to swim himself out i don't see him moving on there at all so just going on do what we don't want to do which is is he still on there no he's not on there pop the line man just lost my barber so we definitely gonna have to get on the boat and get my barber back because i didn't let me put it back here And they're pulling the cork all the way down. I just let them. I just let them run with it a little bit longer. But it looks like they're gonna eat it. They ain't pop, pop like feeding on it, going on taking it down. And that's how you usually know you and you ain't got around some good bluegills. Very critical right here. Oh, there he is. There he is. Big boy. Big boy. Big gill. Big gill. Look at that. Oh, that is a that is a pumpkin seed. Or is this a red? Red here. That's a pumpkin seed. Look at that, guys. It's a good fish. Look at that. He fits in your hand. That's a grown man. So he an eater size. This is eater size. We ain't gonna keep too many. When I come to ponds and stuff like this, I don't, I don't try to, I don't, I, I be very respectful of what I keep. Like right, guys, don't, don't go to a place. All right, guys, we made our cast back in the spot. Let's see if we can get another big one out of here. There he is. There he is. Oh God. Oh man. We haven't found the big boys. That's a bluegill. So we got a little bit of different species in there. Oh, this is the one I just caught. Is it? Okay, guys, this is the one I just broke off. That's crazy. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That's crazy. That's my string. That, that's, that's my string. And he had it. Look at that. They got my jig head down. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's my jig head down there. Just rotate it around. Since he swallowed this hook, we gonna keep him. I mean, he's not that big. Oh, that was my mom. Oh. There he is. Ooh, that's a big one. Get up out the tree. That's a big one. That's a bigger one. It's a big boy. Get up out of there. Get up out of there. There we go, guys. We upgrading oh inside. God. You got one? Yes. No, I think you just hung, no, no, boss. No, I swear. All right, guys. Dalton thinks he has one on. I think he's hung, but we upgrading in size. Got another 
Pumpkin seed. Guys, let me know what you think this is. You think this is a pumpkin seed or you think this is just a hybrid between a shell cracker and a bluegill? I could be wrong. We got three. All right, guys, went and hopped on the boat with my boy Dalton. I don't know if y'all can see him quite well. We on his boat. So, yeah, I know I'm lazy. So, he asked, did I want to get on the boat? So, I got on the boat instead of having to walk around to the other side. So, <laughs> he's currently tying back up. Putting a crappie lure on. He's putting a crappie lure on. If you catch a crappie, I'm going to be so jealous. There's one. There's one, guys. That one feels a little bit better. I'm not going to say he's... I just caught one off camera. Oh, there's... He ain't, he ain't a keeper, but... That's a shell cracker. Old red ear. And what's neat about this little boat, guys, he has a live well. So, I didn't even have to bring my bucket. Got a whole live well in here. So... Hopefully we can catch something to put in the live well so we can make a catch clean and cook. Mm -hmm. That's the that's going that's the the plan for this video. So we currently have three keepers. <laughs> um I like to get five. So if we can get two more keepers. We can definitely make a catch clean and cook happen. Is there any way you can put water in there? I have to scoop it in and put it in here because I don't know if that works up there. Okay. My granddad just gave me this book about a couple months ago. Kind of I haven't seen him. Yeah, he's, he's been working. Yeah. He looks like he's a hard working man. changed my mind about the crappie. You changed your mind about the crappie? I'm gonna try to catch a bass. There you go. I would be bass fishing with you if I had my bass stuff, but my intention was I actually found this hook in the water. Really? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. was it attached to anything or was it just it by itself? Uh, it was attached to a line. The worm, there was like half of the worm on it. Oh. There's one. Ooh, that's a better one, guys. I don't know quite. Ah, uh, no, he's not. Look at that pretty bluegill. I mean, pretty red there. That's a pretty one, guys. All right. Come on, buddy. You ain't quite table fair. Ow. He's a beauty. Now this is why I like shell crackers. You see how thick this little fish is? And if you catch something that's the size of your hand, I mean, shell crackers are always a little bit thicker fish to me. Just let him go so he can grow. Oh. Whew. It's a little narrower than my boat, but. Yeah, your boat's more better than mine. Mine's an older John. Yeah, Larry. I gave Larry a John boat. His. It's an older John boat too. Oh, you know what? I don't think I'm just gonna sit down because yeah, I'm just gonna sit it down. I can feel myself, my leg going to sleep on me. Balance ain't that good right now. I'm just gonna sit her down. Ain't nothing wrong with sitting her down. There he is. Yep. What is that? That's a better one. He ain't fine yet. That's like a decent size one. He ain't that big, but he squawked the hook. That's a bluegill. This is a bluegill. See how pretty that fish is, guys? Pretty. Let's let him go so he can grow. All right, guys. Oh, oh, there we go. Now we in focus. All right, guys. So we made it to the house. Today I'm gonna be showing her 
Mm-hmm. Country girl. How to fillet a fish. So, like I told y'all in the previous video, start off small. So, we went bluegill fishing earlier. Now we finna show her how to fillet a bluegill. It's a smaller fish, and it's a little tricky. But if you can do a small one, then we gonna up the scale. Next is gonna be a. Oh what? Um, trying to think what would be bigger, a crappie or a stripe. Uh, hybrid. I got more meat on. Yeah, we're going to do a stripe. We're going to do a hybrid, then a crappie. Crappie like filet mignon. You need skill to do a crappie. You don't want to mess up a crappie. Okay. All right, that's enough talking. So we're going to go outside. I'm going to do one. I'm going to let her do one. And then I'm going to finish them off because it's late and it's dinner time. And we hungry. My mama wants some fish, so I can't take all night. All right, guys. So we're going to start her off with just... A little small bluegill. One of the small ones. That one actually swallowed the hook. He wasn't gonna make it, so I went on and kept him. But so grab your knife. Uh-huh. Okay. Alright, use your other hand. You see his fin? You can't be uh uh -oh. this fin right here. Okay. Yeah, lift it up. Uh it's kind of slimy. It's gonna be slimy. Alright, now you're gonna put the knife back this way, right? Mm -hmm. And cut down. It's gonna, it's gonna cause some pressure. You're gonna have to use some pressure to cut it down. It's gonna be slippery. Mm, I don't think I'm supposed to cut that hard. Like this. Uh huh. You cut this up to, towards the head. Okay. Alright, now you're gonna stick the knife in, in that hole. Stick it in there. Yeah, stick it up there. Hole. This hole? Right here? Yeah, stick it up there. Okay. Like this. Yeah, like a little bit down. Now run the knife back that way. Poke it and bring it out and come back this way. Like that. Keep doing that. You mm. feel bone? Mm-hmm. I don't think I'm doing this right. You're doing it right. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You're doing it perfect, actually. Keep going. You still feel bone? All right, no, no. put it all the way through. No. Oh, you went through the other side of the fish. Just pick it up. All right, now push it all the way through. Oh, it's still bone. Mm -hmm. Keep going, keep going. There you go, now stick. Ah, hold on. <laughs> we need a cameraman here. All right. So, right here. Oh, my bad. See, so you came all the way through right here? Mm hmm. Alright, now put your switch hands. Put that knife on them. Put this hand on the knife. Yeah, now hold it like that. And then cut down like a seesaw. Right. Angle it up. This foot hold. This foot. Alright. Alright. Hey, look. Uh, keep the hand right there. Now, what you're gonna do is take this hand. Take this hand right here. This hand? Mm -hmm. Okay, and do what? Put the knife in. And be real gentle and bring the knife back this way. You made it look so easy. I've been doing it a long time. It's hard. No, it's not. Let mm -hmm. it because you're left handed. You can do what you're saying. Yeah, that's what it is. I need somebody. And I know. Well, I'm not monetized, so it don't matter about showing no goods, but for me, but don't be, you, you'll get there. I say mm -hmm. next month you'll be able to do it just as half as good as me. You'll be able to do it without me showing you. Mm -hmm. right. So I'm finna put this in time lapse and I'm about to finish these out real quick, guys. Can I wash my hands? Yeah, go wash your hands. Bring that trash bag out here. Alright guys, so after I clean my fish, what I like to do is take my lemon. This one crappie that we already got, we gonna be eating that as well, but we focus on the bluegills. I like to do take that lemon. Or you can use lemon juice, but 
gonna use this one here. Your tart. Alright, now we're gonna take some of this white vinegar. Just add it in now. now, we're gonna let this sit in the refrigerator for a little bit. Alright guys, my bad, I hadn't started without y'all, but I took the fish out the uh, water, I added some beer to it, you know, like bluegills and beer, it tastes pretty good, but, cleaned it up, got some yellow mustard, we've been frying some other fish, we got some crappie over there, Let's fry these bluegills up, I think I didn't put too many in here, because we already got a plate full of fish, there ain't number three people, but, we'll see how this goes. I think I went over my head. Alright, so I got that a nice coat. Take a bag. Got all my secret ingredients in here. Not secret ingredients. Really all it is, guys. Just some cornmeal mix. Some lemon pepper. Some slap your mama. A little bit of a little bit of other stuff I ain't gonna get into. But um yeah. Drop them bad boys off in there. Then the bluegills take them up and swim in the grease. You know, we, we catch and release the bluegills into the grease. And they don't even like you swimming too quick. But I like to sit in there. I take them home, take the clothes off, put them in the clothes. Guys, that's the bluegill. Got some carpet on the plate. We're gonna let Country Girl do the honors. Go on, I'm digging. Mm. Let's see. Let me see how that looks. I don't want to focus. There you go. Okay. Mm. You loving that? Tastes good. Oh, it is good. One out of ten. Thirteen. Thirteen. Better yeah. than the fish tacos? I like the crunch. I really like the crunch. So, thirteen or, or, are, you, or are you dropping it? Thirteen. Thirteen.